Welcome back to the comment section. I'm Brett Cooper. So Taylor Swift has been trending this week. What's new? But surprisingly, it has not been in conjunction with the NFL and Travis Kelsey, which has basically been the case for the past few months. It feels like that's where we've all gotten our glimpse of Taylor Swift every Sunday. My Twitter feed is just pictures of her in the box. And I won't lie, it's been fun to follow that since August, but that is not what we are talking about today. The reason why Taylor is trending right now is because of her stalker. And there's a lot that we can learn from this story about the perils of soft on crime policies and how Taylor Swift helped cause this predicament herself. Before we get into this story though, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to the channel if you have not already, and ring that notification bell so that you never miss a comment section upload. So obviously, Taylor Swift is probably the most famous woman on planet Earth right now. So she has had to deal with her fair share of insane, crazy fans. On top of just the normal crazy Swifties, she is had to deal with her fair share of male stalkers, many of whom have been put behind bars at some point. But David Crow has quickly become the most famous one. Here he is in all of his glory. Since November, he has showed up to her New York apartment in Tribeca over 30 times. He's harassed her security. He's harassed people passing by her street. He's tried to break in. And recently, he went dumpster diving in her trash. And apparently, he's doing all of this because she has a pair of his pants. Where am I? That is the reason why he is stalking her is because she has his pants. No, like, come on, dude. We all know that that is a lie, just like we know people are lying when they're saying the traditional dog food alone is the best option for your dogs. But you guys are smart. You know that Rough Greens is the answer. Rough Greens knows that traditional dog food is dead food, and your pet's health is just as important as your health. Rough Greens is a supplement that contains all the necessary vitamins, minerals, probiotics, omega oils, digestive enzymes, and antioxidants that your dog needs every single day. You don't have to go out and buy some fancy, expensive new dog food. You can just sprinkle Rough Greens on their food every single day to make sure that they are getting the proper nutrition. Rough Greens supports healthy joints, improves bad breath, boosts energy levels, and so much more for your dogs. We are, we eat, and that obviously goes for dogs too. My dogs, Rocky and Tater, love their Rough Greens. They wolf them down every single morning. I care a lot about my dog's health, and so I am happy and proud to partner with Rough Greens on this. Now, the team at Rough Greens is so confident that their products will improve your dog's health that they are offering my viewers a free Jumpstart trial bag so that your dogs can try it too. That free trial bag can be at your door in just a few business days. So go to roughgreens.com slash Brett or call 877-66-MY-DOG. That's roughgreens.com slash Brett or call 877-66-MY-DOG today. I've been pestering you guys about Rough Greens for 12 months now, so I hope you've tried it. But speaking of pestering and complaints, after literal months of complaints, the New York PD finally arrested this guy this week. But unsurprisingly, he was immediately released. And guess what? He went right back to Taylor's apartment. So they arrested him again. Here's a post from Pop Base. Taylor Swift's alleged new stalker has been arrested for the second time in three days, TMZ reports. He was first arrested on Saturday after showing up to the front door of her New York City apartment, and again today after he was seen less than a block away from the apartment. And here he is in the back of the squad car again for the second time this week. And wow, guys, what did they do after they arrested him? Oh, they released him immediately yet again. So what did he do, guys? Let's say it with me. He went back to the apartment immediately. This is from Pop Crave. Taylor Swift's stalker has been arrested for the third time in five days. He went back to Taylor's block immediately after leaving court for his previous arrest. Like, you cannot make this crap up. Three times in five days, no bail. And the Swifties, y'all, they are angry and rightfully so. I am with the Swifties on this one. One person said, lock him up for good. What is the city of New York waiting for? Somebody else said, why did they let him out the first time? Inquiring minds would like to know, that's for sure. Here's a TikTok about it. Taylor Swift's stalker was arrested for the third time this week. So the New York Post reports that a neighbor who didn't wish to be identified said she saw Roe over the weekend when he was first detained Saturday night for lurking around Taylor Swift's door and released without charges. He was arrested again Monday night outside Taylor Swift's home on stalking and harassment charges, which are not bail eligible. So prosecutors requested the highest possible tier and level of supervised release at his arraignment Wednesday. They really wanted to get this man back out into New York City. They really wanted him to be back out on the streets. Oh, he's harassing and stalking someone? Psh, that's fine. That's fine. Everything's cool because it's New York. Which means nothing because this man was seen again in front of Taylor house across the street, rummaging through the dumpster, asking her neighbors about her whereabouts hours after he was released without bail. Not only that, but according to TMZ, law enforcement officials alleged in their complaint that they'd been informed Crow has been spotted at Taylor Swift's Tribeca home upwards of 30 times in the past two months. I'm confused on what it's going to take to get this man locked up or getting the help that he needs. We are all wondering 
what it will take to get this man locked up. And everybody in this girl's comment section was wondering the same thing. Somebody said, ridiculous that they can't keep him in jail. Well, that's New York for you, isn't it? Somebody else said, cops are good at catching them and judges are good at letting them go. Exactly. A girl on Twitter said, I would really appreciate New York PD actually dealing with Taylor Swift's stalker so she isn't the next John Lennon. I actually cannot take it if that happens. Protect her, damn it. Another girl said, Taylor Swift's stalker being continually let out of jail after he has stalked her apartment three times in the past five days and 30 times in the past two months, she is probably the most famous person in the world right now, and the American justice system still fails her. As a woman, it's terrifying. But here's the thing, and this is a harsh truth, but it has to be said. Sadly, this is a direct result of the policies that Taylor Swift has endorsed and voted for, that she has gotten all of her Swifties, all of the minions to go out and vote for. This is a direct result of the political party that she so adamantly stands behind. And her fans and women everywhere need to realize this. Ian Miles Chong said, if you think stalkers should be locked up, maybe don't promote the political party that keeps criminals out of jail and doesn't charge them for anything. Somebody else said, Taylor Swift, vote Democrat. Also, Taylor Swift can't get justice for a stalker in NYC. Oh, the eye. Irony. And none of this is new in New York City. Their justice system is outlandishly backwards and literally favors the criminals. So none of this should surprise people that have been paying attention. Like, do you remember the case last year where a bodega owner was attacked in his shop? He acted in self-defense, but he was the one who was charged. He was literally attacked in his business. He fought back. He was the one who got in trouble. Or we could talk about the fact that under New York City's Soros-backed soft-on-crime DA Alvin Bragg, over half of suspected felons walk free without bail after being arrested, which is double the rate it was in 2018. This is from Daily Mail. Exclusive suspected felons have walked free in half of cases since Alvin Bragg took office, double the rate in 2018, as New York's lax bail laws allow city's worst criminals to roam the streets. And this is all because of the lax bail policies that state that bails are a last resort and they focus on, you know, reintegration into society and the fact that this man is too distracted by the Trump indictment to actually focus on what's going on in his own city. But that's an episode of for another day. Now, a couple of years ago, Alvin Bragg's chief prosecutor even said the quiet part out loud. We know incarceration doesn't really solve any problems. And then she also said that criminals are not bad dudes while simultaneously blasting juries for believing police officers facing misconduct allegations deserve the benefit of the doubt. Sounds like a fantastic person to have in office. No wonder so much of the New York Police Department has walked. Shocker. And incarceration doesn't solve any problems? I'm sorry. It gets dangerous people off the streets. You put them right back out there and often you don't even charge them. So they literally just roam free and continue to wreak havoc on that city. And we're seeing all of this play out right now with Taylor Swift's stalker. We're bringing it back, guys. We're bringing it back to the story. One person commented and said, if Taylor Swift can't be safe from men like this, what hope do the rest of us have? And that is a really excellent and important point because Taylor Swift is a billionaire. I'm guessing that she has the best security that money can buy, but even they, can't completely protect her from incidents like this because the state won't do their part to keep this man away from her and off her property. They can protect her physically, but they can't keep this from happening. So what happens to a woman who's being stalked who doesn't have 24 seven private security to protect her? Well, she could carry a gun, she could defend herself, but oh no, not in New York. She would get arrested for doing that. And if God forbid she had to fire it in self-defense, well, we know how that would probably end in New York City, and it's not pretty. Democrat soft on crime policies sound fluffy and nice. They use buzzwords like rehabilitation and reintegration, and mental health awareness for criminals. But all that means is that bad people are not being put away. These soft on crime systems are not designed to protect good law-abiding American citizens. So why would anybody vote for them? It is honestly mind boggling. So maybe this story and the power of the angry Swifties could finally start to wake people up. It would be the best thing Taylor Swift has done all year. I hope you guys enjoyed that episode of the comment section and maybe even learned something new. Make sure that you like this video, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And if you want some hopefully more uplifting content, you can follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and TikTok. See you guys next time.